All right, guys, welcome back to some more MXGP 2020. Today, we have a new patch, a new update to the game. The first thing I'm going to show you, which I feel like is the best feature they added, is the ability to search for custom tracks. It should have been in the game right away, but I guess better late than never, right? So finally, we can search for, for tracks and maybe do Does Your Track Suck? The second thing is the track editor. So we have two different maps now. It's pretty disappointing because they marketed the game as having a track editor that had elevation. And the Orchard is the only map that really has any elevation. The plane map here has basically none. You can see it goes over the edge, but that's out of the boundary. So that sucks. This is a very flat plane as it would imply map and I just built a little bit to show you you know the area and so the plane map is a very quote plane and I guess that's okay for this map but the woods is very very similar it does have a few uh, tiny and I mean itty bitty miniature hills in it and so we have the orchard Pretty decent elevation, but again, they were marketing the game as having elevation. So I feel like every map should have elevation. The plane map, okay, whatever. But the woods, come on. It would be awesome to build a track on a mountainside, you know? We have some hills in the orchard, but I want a mountain. You know, something big. But we didn't get it. So it just feels like a letdown with the track editor. You know, we we waited. It didn't have everything in the game when it released, and now they patch it in later, and it just it's, it's the same as it was in 2019. So pretty big a disappointment here. I guess it's better to have options, but this is this is a bit disappointing in my opinion. And now to the really good stuff. They did give us the last two tracks that we were missing in the official career championship with the Spain track and Belgium. This is the Spanish track and it took a minute. It actually took me longer to memorize this track because I'm not familiar with it whatsoever, but it's it's pretty awesome. I feel like they did a really good job. It has a it has a good balance to it. It looks really good. And even though I might not be familiar with it in real life, I feel like they did a really good job on it. Let me know in the comments if you do know this track really good, if they held true to the to the real life track. But this was probably my second favorite track out of the two we got because the Belgium track, Lomel, is insane. It's really, really, really rough. And you'll see that after we finish up here. But I mean, I'm happy we have it. You know, again, better late than never, but it just should have been in the game right away, right? I'm not I'm not going to complain too much because we did get it in a fairly timely fashion. I mean, it's been a month, maybe a bit over, a month and a week. I mean, it's been a while, but, you know, they're they're also working on Supercross 4, which we we're, we're sure that's happening. So, they're probably trying to balance, you know, getting Patches out for this game with content as well as working on Supercross 4. So, you know, I guess I'll cut them some slack, but again, it should have been in the game right away. If they had to, they could have delayed MXGP 2020 until they had everything in the game. But nonetheless, this is a really good big patch. I do believe it is out on all platforms. And here we switch over to Lomel. This track is awesome. I do know this track, maybe not this specific year, but this track is usually in the game in the series and it's crazy. They did a really good job with it. It's super rough. It's really choppy and bumpy and just insane. It's it's actually really awesome. The, the width of the track variating from being really wide in, in some places to getting really, really narrow in other places is awesome. Uh, it just feels like 
Lomel. I mean, usually in MXGP, this track is wicked rough. I've, I've said, uh, seen you guys say that this track always gets really, really, really nasty and rough, and I feel like they communicated that really well in the game. So, fantastic job by Milestone for, for getting this out to us before Supercross 4. I mean, that would have... That would have been kind of a bummer if you're a big MXGP fan to get this patch after Supercross 4 came out. I mean, all the hype would have been on Supercross 4, not MXGP. And so I'm, I'm happy they did that. The, the biggest disappointment for me as a track editor, I really feel like they, they kind of dropped the ball on that one a bit because if, if you're going to advertise it with this elevation, it needs to have that elevation in the game. I was really looking forward to getting the new maps and having more elevation, different elevation options, but we get we get the two maps, we get the two maps and they're flat. They're really flat. It's MXGP 2019 all over again. So that's a huge bummer. I'm I'm really disappointed in that. I know I keep saying it, but I mean that's how disappointed I am that it, it isn't there. I don't know if we're supposed to get more track editor maps or if this was it i do know that race director is supposed to be added into the game i'm not for sure when on that but it, it wasn't in this patch i don't believe so yeah i mean the big things that i was looking forward to were the two tracks the ability to search for custom tracks and the the new maps for track editor so we did this patch had everything i was looking forward to it just didn't it didn't have it done I guess entirely in the way that I was hoping for but as usual this is a community you guys are awesome and I I enjoy reading and seeing what you guys think about stuff so let me know in the comments if you're happy with this I'm happy I'm definitely happy with the patch I'm glad we have it but a bit upset that we the track editor maps weren't very good you know it, it just doesn't feel like I mean that took them quite a while to put that out like five weeks and it just feels like it was mxgp 2019 so why if it was going to be that way why not put it in the game right away so again yeah let me know in the comments like to see what you guys think about it there should be one more patch coming maybe two i'm not sure there is a, a couple things that i don't feel like they added in maybe they did add in race director i didn't i didn't even check i guess but uh from what I understood, that wasn't coming until February or March. So not not until Supercross 4 comes out. And by the time that happens, I don't even know if anybody's going to care if Race Director is even in MXGP, <coughs> excuse me, MXGP 2020. So yeah, there you go. Big new patch on this Monday in January. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.